So the actual appropriate when you're doing a capillary puncture is to choose one of two fingers, okay? I like the middle. I'm not gonna demonstrate it. Um, I find it easier to grip, um, but Cheryl prefers the ring finger, which I have trouble holding out here. So when you do it, you're gonna clean. So generally speaking, we clean the whole pad of the finger, let it dry. So your equipment that you have, um, that you wanna have within reach is obviously a lancet. You want some gauze, which she does have, um, and the collection tube. The tubes are, are different. These have a capillary tube attached to it, so it will siphon it down. Um, others have what looks like a scoop. Uh, you wanna make sure that you don't actually physically scoop it. You do not wanna touch um, and scrape the drop of blood. You just wanna touch it. It will, by capillary action, go into the tube. And as she does it, you wanna make sure that you tap it down. Um, so when you get ready, now this is fully dry because I can feel it. Um, so when you do get ready, um, you twist off that cap and you want to uh, puncture perpendicular to, perpendicular to the whirls and you go puncture, ow. <laughs> and you're gonna squeeze it and you wanna make sure you wipe away that first drop. And then if you see, I bleed very well. And she's just tapping it down as we go. It's not hard to fill up, but you see she's just touching that drop and you wanna make sure it gets to be a big, big drop. Um, without the large drop, it tends to not have the good capillary action to bring it down into the tube, but with that nice big drop. Now if you see, she's squeezing, but she's not stopping the circulation. If you squeeze too hard, blood will not flow to the tip of the finger, it will not work. Uh, so as you squeeze, you basically pulsate. Squeeze, let go. Squeeze, let go. Do not milk. Milking causes hemolysis. Um, just as if you uh, try to uh, puncture the skin too soon, um, the alcohol can also slightly hemolyze. There we go. She's getting there. She's got about half full. So it's not, it takes a little while, but it's not too bad. So these are usually reserved for uh, infants, newborns. Um, a lot of hospitals used to do a capillary puncture as a backup um, if we couldn't get someone, uh, but those hospitals are few and far between now. Um, you can do a capillary puncture, the same procedure if you're doing point of care testing. You're just not collecting it. You're probably adding it to a test strip or a test cartridge. All right, so we'll cut it off there, Cheryl. Um, now, was Cheryl...